uh, three hundred eighty-nine thousand uh, four hundred dollars for a uh, five-star. And then in November, y'all got another uh, warrant list for three hundred nineteen thousand six hundred. And then in December, y'all got another warrant list for seven hundred forty-one thousand. And then in January, you got a new one for seven hundred forty-five thousand. March, y'all got one for. 922 April y'all got one. I I'm just so confused. How in the world did you not know that these individual bills or these individual payments were going to I know that you know they were going to add up to one big check. But why in the world would we issue out one big check when all of these bills you guys passed up every single month? Why would we not issue them out the way that they were presented to us every single why wouldn't you issue out one big check? It was approved as one amount. It wasn't approved as several different small amounts. It was See, that's where we go when we talk about the amount of spending and how it's being hidden. How the amounts are being hidden. Month, and you can't say they weren't presented to you because you got them every single month. You got them in October, November, December, January, March, April, June. You got them that way. You got them. They were presented to you that way. And there's no rule, no law, unless you could tell me one. Mike Delgado, is there a law that states that they have to pay, that the bills have to be paid in one lump sum check when it's approved on a warrant? No. Okay. okay. So if you got it, you know for a fact that that's how it was issued to you. Why would we not present the check to you the same way that it was issued? You guys chose not to pay the bills. We're giving it back to you the same way you guys, the same way that we presented it to you before. Okay, so I'll let you speak, Mr. Freeman. Thank you. <laughs> you sent an email. I'm like, I usually I don't get. I, I, don't, I, don't get I was so I don't happy get that you did. I never get a chance to talk to you. I usually talk to Jason I, House over there. And I appreciate your time, Thank right? You. Okay. So, and just say yes or no, because I don't even want to go back and forth. I've already expressed how I felt about it. I know how you feel. I've already expressed my, expressed my vote, right? Yes, so I know how you feel. Before. Yes. The question is, and it's just a yes or no. Did you or did you not send an email saying that we don't have that we cannot afford to pay the one million dollars in one check? And you explained to us that we had to have you wanted to have the checks broken down. I that, said that that would be the responsible thing. Okay, because you said. But, but now I'm gonna go back and let you hear that again. She said, "Did you or did you not send us an email saying we could not afford to make the one million dollar payment in one payment, and for the sake of the both of them?" it would be more responsible for us to break the payments down. That means they don't have the money. In a $33 million budget, they can't pay a million dollar bill. I'm going to go, I'm going to let, let her ask that question. Yes, it's just a yes or no. Did you or did you not send an email saying that we don't have, that we cannot afford to pay the $1 million in one check? And you explained to us that we had to have, you wanted to have the checks broken down. I that, said that that would be the responsible thing. Okay, because you said, but but I did not say that we can afford. I did not use the word afford. Okay, but the email said. But you said you wanted me to say yes or no, so I'm going to say no. Okay, the, the, your terminology was a financial bind, correct? I'm going to use the word no. Okay, so yes or no? Did you? Or did you, you told me to say yes or no. Okay. Okay. okay, all right, all right, enough. So so hold on, hold on, one minute, Trustee Brown. So I just want to say this to uh, Trustee Norbert, because she said she made her statement. Um, you guys are taking things off the warrant list that's under the threshold of the $5,000. So let me school you again, because you say that um, you want to listen to me. I'm just educating you. All I have to do is give you the facts. You're smart. welcome. I'm about to give you the lesson. You're about to get this lesson. So smart. Yep. Yeah, I know. I'm not super smart. Cool them all out, you know. But anyway, so. Um, she can't even say it. She said, Kuma Mo Lottie. Now, this woman has told everybody that she has a sum. I can't even say it now. Summa Cum Laude. She's saying, she's told everybody, I'll take you to the website right now and show you, but I won't. She has told everybody that she graduated from Robert Morris University, Summa Cum Laude, which is the highest honor. But she didn't just say that. She said something completely different. You can't say it out loud, but you earned it. That's why I don't believe this woman actually finished college. She don't talk like she's written a paper. Not even a paper. Trustee Belcher's working on her dissertation. I finished my thesis. She don't even talk like she finished an essay. And she can't say the honor that she earned.
let me school you to gang because you say that um, you want to listen to me. I'm just educating you. All I can do is give you the facts. That's you welcome. I'm about to get this lesson. You're about to get this lesson. So, so yep. smart. Yeah, I know. I'm not super smart. Come on, Molly. You know. But anyway, so um, basically, I just want you to know that when we give you the bills list, half of the time, most of them that Jason House is pulling off, it's under the 5000 So you just said it out of your mouth that, hey, if it's over $5,000, it should go to the board. That's not even true. Over $5,000 to go to $20,000 to go to the village administrator. That's $20,000. And then just clarity for RP. She keeps my RPs. Anybody over, is it $20,000, $20,000, $25,000, you put it out for RFP. Half of the vendors that we use is under the threshold. Even with the Rift and Little program, how are you guys stopping things like that? That's grant money. And the threshold for Rip was five thousand, and for Windows was two thousand. So what I'm saying to you is that you're putting your feet in your mouth because you keep saying the opposite of what you're saying. You have to vote on things that's for you only. You get, get what I'm saying? If it's five thousand dollars, that means America signed off on it, right? If it's twenty thousand dollars, the village administrator is supposed to sign on. We talking about laws and rules, right? That's how it goes. And if it's for a RP, it's over twenty five thousand. So what are we doing wrong? It's all on the warrant list. And you keep saying RP. Now I put your phone down, I don't get no help now. Just just listen to what I'm saying. All I'm saying to you is that because I'm texting nobody. I don't text nobody. I just want you to know. Well, I am. I'm doing my job. I need you to do your job. That's why I'm telling you, trustee. Because at the end of the day, you keep following and you won't get the facts. If somebody give you the information, you still won't listen. You heard the lawyer just tell you, we don't have to talk to you guys about breaking the money up. The money can get broken up. If it's a vendor, like he just pulled out somebody else. Uh, and there is no law that states the board has to sign those checks. There is no law that states the board has to sign those checks. What they are doing is not illegal. Things aren't just illegal because you say they are. I saw he had one check. Y'all still pulled it out. One check. Why y'all pull it out? That's my point. Because you guys are picking and choosing who you want to pay. One check. Trusty House just read it's a record that you pull it out. Why? Y'all read another vendor, one that was $500 or something. Why? Why? This, this is my point to you. Like, it's mess. It's people nickel and diamond and picking who they want to pay. That's not right. You want the service or you don't want the service. Then you talk about uh, who congrats. Y'all asked that two more meetings ago. You know the answer. And then you talk about doing your job. How committee meetings? Why you ain't no committee meetings to talk about nothing? But yet you get here and say, let's do this, let's do that. I'm saying, I'm saying that you, you won't commit, but in budget, I, please pass the budget, y'all. All I do is tell y'all, pass the budget. Pass the budget. Do y'all jobs. Once again, do y'all jobs. But these are the things that I can point out to you. We can go back and forth all day long. But at the end of the day, none of y'all are doing your jobs. But when y'all get here, we put on the show, and then at the end of the day, nothing gets resolved. Nothing. All I'm asking you guys to do what's right. If you say my threshold is five thousand dollars, have you heard uh uh Tanjanique Audrinique Miller? And the reason I call her Tanjanique Audrinique is because I did find another woman in Chicago who has a verifiable verifiably the same background that Tanjanique claims to have. And the other woman who I found in Chicago who has the similar background, verifiably, her name actually is Audrinique Miller. So I think Tanjanique is using one of her close family members' um, resumes. Um, but you haven't heard her or Tiffany defute or refute the claim of $2.6 million in deficit. Brittany Norwood just said it. She didn't say that's not true. There is no deficit. Here she is. She's finally admitting there is a deficit. I mean, it was just two meetings ago when there was no deficit. There was no deficit in August. And then in, in, in July, there was no deficit. And then all of a sudden in, in um, August, you know, we got some, some, some overdue bills. Because, you know, she started hinting to it, what we talked about yesterday. And here we are. Now, it, it is a full-fledged deficit. She's not denying it. But it's all the trustees' fault. Put all the bills back in that's under $5,000. If his threshold is $20,000, put all the bills back in that's under that threshold. Then, then what's the problem? That's within the laws. Under the laws, right? Because it shouldn't matter how they're spending the money, should it? 
long as it's under twenty thousand. Yeah, go buy yourself an eighteen thousand dollar vehicle that you get to ride around all on your own. That does no work for the village of Dalton or the township of uh, Thornton, because they're pulling from both places. Don't forget that. Follow the laws. We put it on the warrant list, right? And the law says make sure y'all vote for it. Y'all voted on paying all them bills and didn't pay nobody. Didn't sign the checks. But that's the law, right? We did every step that you guys asked of us. But yet, we still get up here and y'all take things out. Why? Because the steps is that the board approved it. Y'all approved it. Even though it was approved through the budget, but y'all approved it on the warrant list. Okay. And then y'all still don't sign a check to pay the vendor. Then so that's why she thinks it's okay to have Stacy Carell... Um, put a $65,000 order in for Christmas lights, even though they're for her. And to have um, Stacy Carell put in an order for $850,000 worth of concrete at the skating rink and um, $65,000 worth of epoxy coating for the skating rink and $20,000 worth of signs. And who knows what her boyfriend is ordering through the youth budget. But that's why she has justified these things to them. She literally has told them something that's not legally or corporately or ethically true. I'm telling you, if you've ever worked for a company, had an expense account or an allowance or even the ability to get reimbursed for items, those items were reviewed. Your tuition reimbursal was reviewed. Your health care reimbursals were reviewed. Your, your expenditures while you were on a trip were reviewed. Just because you have an allowance does not mean in order for those that per diem to get added to your paycheck or for you to be reimbursed for those things or that expense account to be paid in order to have that Internet reimbursed, you got to submit the invoice that is reviewed. What makes her think a person can have a twenty thousand dollar budget and nobody cares what they spend as long as it's under twenty thousand? Because she has it now. She's not talking about the deficit anymore. She's not talking about the fact that vendors have been approved and checks have been signed and people still haven't been paid. Now she's going to go to a whole different conversation and talk about uh, the $5,000 uh, Stanley Cup. What's the point of getting a vote? If y'all not going to pay the vendor, y'all going to do what you want to do. Trust me, House going to not sign checks. After you guys voted to pay people, he chooses not to sign the check. Now what? So now people sitting in the audience and they say, oh, God, I'm going to get paid today. And then later on, they come here to the village to finance department to get their check. Jason and the clerk pull out the checks and don't pay the vendor that y'all voted for. So now what do we tell those vendors? And then how do we keep services going for the residents? Everything stops, right? Because I guess that's what y'all want. Next y'all come there, right? You got to just stop everything. There's too much progress going on. Because other than that, why are you stopping? There's no reason. All right, Clark Key, call the road. Um, I asked to be recognized a long time ago, ma'am. You got something? Go ahead. Okay, so just a couple of things. Uh, is there more than one vendor that we're speaking of about these checks? What do you mean? You keep saying that they approved all of the bills last time, and the clerk and trustee house didn't sign the check for the vendors. Is there more than one vendor that they did not sign checks for? Um, I think that's a rhetorical question. It's not a rhetorical question. Sure you talk to them. What's a rhetorical question? I, I, I just told I, I you. asked you okay, a question. Okay, you answer. My answer. So let me answer. Don't interrupt. Let you get my answer. So trustee house and the clerk didn't sign several checks. They have all the checks right there before you that you can look at and see that they did not sign certain people because they picking and choosing who they want to pay. It's not up to them. When the board votes to pay all vendors, pay all vendors, but they won't sign certain checks. Okay. My next question is, um, you made statements, several statements in reference to saying that we affected people's livelihood and we're not paying them. They've done the work. Um, I could say the same thing about you not giving people business license. You are affecting their livelihoods. Trust me. No, no, no. Let, 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 me speak, you let me speak because you don't know nothing about Let me speak because I have the right to speak because we're in discussion. But you said, it, wait, hold on, hold on. We're in like discussion. Like, I got to do with corporate with, No, you made a so, statement. So, so get it right. So, okay, with corporate you, ma you made a statement about people livelihoods. So, trust me. So, I'm responding back Talk to about it. corporate bills. Okay, and this has something to do with the financial status of our village because we are missing revenue. Oh, okay. Things that's uh, business is being now. closed. Yes, Go absolutely. Go ahead. From business Your friend is closed. closed. Okay. Go ahead. My, My friend is still open. Go ahead. Nah. 
Go but ahead. anyway, um, with businesses being closed, since you want to go, I don't know, you woke up this morning or something with anger on you. You sit here and talk about hate, but at the end of the day, nobody comes here to argue. I literally had that conversation with an ex. Like, you wake up on bullshit. Do you, are you happy ever? There are people who literally go out and, like somebody said, want to let the world burn. And all of them motherfuckers going to be having lunch with Kevin Samuels soon. Nobody at all. There are bills that we have the right to take off. We have the right to make decisions about. You say that you're running it at the end of the day, because this is going to be the narrative. When we go broke, you're going to say, I wasn't even on the bank account. The trustees did it. When at the end of the day, you're making decisions and spending money and then get mad when we don't approve it because it's not financially sound. I sat here and looked at a lease that child's paying $149,000 for one of them trucks. You make absolute, that's like when you're 19 years old and you go get a car and the interest rate 27%. That makes absolutely no sense. You're please not making facts. great finance. Excuse me? Please stay facts. Oh, I got the facts, baby. You know so I got it. Please stay facts. I can hop over there and show you. Well, go ahead. Hop over here. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't do that. I value you not to. Last time you I say did, what you want. You please don't. Swore Tiffany got scared. She decided to talk a little shit because she got scared. Hop over here. This ain't what you want, bitch, please. I believe in a... Then, man, I've been trying to keep that to myself. I'm not going to say it. You swore I was trying to do something to you. But let me tell you, here it is, dated December 27, 2022. The cash price of a 2023 Chevy Tahoe, $93,216.71. Interest and APR $55,929.49. Total lease price $149,146.20. Tell me if it's not facts because your signature is all on it. I don't see that. Okay, but you want to put more facts? I don't. All right. I'll, I'll but at the, end, at the end of the pay. day, it's not about going back and forth with you. It's about making financial decisions that is in the benefit of everybody and just not one person. And you can't seem to understand that. Have a great day. Okay. Trustee, I wish you will come here with better information and come here with a better plan than to come here to do nothing and to vote no for a progress in the village of Dalton. All you do is talk negative. You don't talk about nothing positive. I don't know one thing. Matter of fact, maybe one thing positive that you voted for here in the village of Dalton. I remember they had that whole issue over there. Um, what was it? Public works or a truck ran into something and the whole town was going to blow up. And you voted no to fix the gas leak. I remember that. So I tell me, it. what do you ever do for the people? Because obviously you don't care about them. You don't vote to help them do anything. You won't vote to cut down a tree. Now, this is a woman who has sitting before you a known rapist. And she's covering for him. And she's talking about who cares about the people. She has in this room full of women who he may walk somebody to their car tonight. He may give somebody a ride home. Uh-huh. These are the things. These are the, these are the ways that she is, she is allowing the women of Dalton and maybe even the boys to be exposed. That's the word you were looking for when you say put us out there. You mean exposed. That's the professional word to use, Tiffany. Expose. She's exposing the women of Dalton and maybe even the boys to a predator, a known predator, a man who I found out last night has a reputation since being a teenager of being a rapist. Why his ass hasn't been whooped is beyond me, but he right there with Chicago in Chicago with R. Kelly and y'all let him live too, so I don't know. But she talking about who cares about the community and who cares about the people, but she covering for a rapist right before our eyes in a lime green suit.
cookies, uh, cutting on vacant lots, uh, make sure they stay, make sure squad is out, make sure the police department and the camera system working in a, um, oh, I did vote in a building. So you, no, just, you don't vote for no nothing. Young facts. For nothing, nothing. No but anything facts. that's beneficial to trustee voucher, right? And I just want residents to see that because you could point out little right. things or, or or cry about this, cry about that, but you're not producing anything. None of y'all are. None Absolutely. Of y'all. So at the end of the day, it's said that y'all going to do that to them people because they actually came and worked hard. Okay. Um, they cut down the whole west side. So hopefully one of y'all will add that back into the warrant list because them tree companies are still out there this week cutting out cutting out trees um, in Dalton. So can anybody... Revise it, Trustee Brown, Trustee uh, Holmes. Can somebody revise the warrant list and add the tree service back in there so that the people can continue to cut down um, the trees and trim them back? May I be recognized, Mayor? Go ahead. I say we should revise it and put them in there because at the end of the day, we're going to be back in the executive session. We're going to be paying more. This is a rapist speaking. Yes. Taxpayers going to be paying more. Yep. I agree. I like to touch pieces on that. <laughs> oh, y'all need me to say allegedly? I just did. Through a day to day experience, <clears throat> I deal with law care service, and I've been utilizing a lot of the <clears throat> young people in the community to help cut lawns for vacant lots next to senior homes that they're scared to come out because the lawns are so high. Um, and if you ride through the community, no way you could not see these homes, these houses that's vacant with grass coming up. If this man says mice, I swear to God, I'm jumping through my iPad. If this man says mice, he better not. <clears throat> Anywhere five and six feet tall. Come on, trustees. I'll be riding through the community. Seriously, I'll be right through the community. You guys don't see these uh, vacant homes? Can I be recognized? I say, I, I say let, let me just oversee out at you. Uh, 148, 47, uh, Dorchester, <coughs> vacant home grass coming up very high. Uh, 14700 on uh, Lincoln. I just uh, had to make a stop over there with a senior. Uh, we actually cut a grass through the lawn program, but her biggest concern was about the lots on both sides of our house. So her easy pitch was to say, we didn't cut our grass, but it was really concerned about the houses next door to her. We got a lot of high grass going on out here. <clears throat> and we've been selfish by not paying them. I was just going through this one list. What lawn services do you guys want to have to cut this grass? Cause we need it. We actually need it. Well, I'm, I'm sticking with that grass right now <clears throat> because that's real tough right now. And I know I made a couple of visits on the west side down the street from Trustee Brittany. I showed you a couple of houses over there down the street from you that need that grass cut, right? Yeah, we went. That's why I brought the last thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. That grass that is still high. You know, I actually was spending money out of my own pocket <clears throat> trying to get them lawns cut. Um, and it's not a program to put those um, vacant homes on. So I'm just asking, what lawn service are we going to use? Because it's definitely needed because public works cannot cut all this grass out here. They need to be out doing public work work, not being lawn care service. So I'm just asking, for, for my knowledge, for me to even talk with the residents, because they're asking about, do we have any lawn care services out of the village of Dalton to cut lawns? Okay. So, and I'm looking on here. We got, yeah, and we need them. So we need them because we have a lot of high grass going. And and I just like to kind of touch too with that. Uh, I've been out here 33 years. And if you go from Sibley down to 142nd in Greenwood, that was a blighted area. Nothing but grass, weeds, raccoons, possums, all down that strip. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm making y'all listen to this. I know this is some bullshit. <laughs> All down that strip. It has been revitalized. Let's spend the money and get back to the community. I'm looking at, we want to take out some of these construction companies. They fixing sidewalks. Yep. They fixing alleys. Yep. 
We got seniors uh, with roofs and windows need to be repaired. That's what this money is being spent on. It's going back into the community. It's not going into no individual pocket. It's going back into the community. And if you ride through the village, you can actually see it. It's there to be seen. So I'm asking. You don't I like it. Y'all didn't hear recently in an interview with Roland Martin, Tiffany Henry said something, something, something in the community. <laughs> It reminded me of Black Dynamite when he was like, but Black Dynamite, I sell drugs in the community. That nigga said, it's going back in the community. Nigga, if you practice that, just say so. I'm looking at, we want to take out some of these construction companies. They fixing sidewalks. Yep. They fixing alleys. Yep. We got seniors uh, with roofs and windows need to be repaired. That's what this money is being spent on. It's going back into the community. It's not going into no individual pocket. It's going back into the community. He said it's not going into no individual's pockets. No, mama, don't look this way. Don't look behind my hand. I don't have no cookie in my hand. No, not me. It's not going into any individual's pockets, Fed. It's going back into the community. Six lawn care companies at ten thousand dollars a pop for the fuck what? And if you ride through the village, you can actually see it. You can see it. It's there to be seen. It's there to be seen. So I'm because even today they say Dalton looks like shit. I'm asking because I like to know: Do we need to change the, the lawn company? Do you guys have some lawn companies? Would you like a response? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, my original statement. Because I think it's being mischaracterized. We got past due vendors. Let's take care of them first. We got public works who is old money. I wish there would be that same passion with getting them paid. Okay. And then once that's taken care of, let's come back and see how much money's left. And then we address this. We are stacking more bills on top of what we already don't have. So please, let's pay public works their retro. Let's pay the past the other vendors with one check, and then let's revisit next month. I'm not saying no. I'm saying let's handle one step at a time. We're going further and further behind, and we keep coming in, and we say, look, this has to be done. I agree. It's nice to have that done, but we're blowing off, we're blowing off things that need to also be addressed that have already been voted on. So let's take one step first. Pay the pay, people that haven't got their check first. Pay the public works their retro that they are. Oh, we have. We don't even got a plan for when public works gonna get paid. Have you heard one? Huh. Well, right now you're mixing apples with oranges. I was talking about getting oh, grass cut. Oh, wait a minute. Wheat. So who's mixing apples with oranges? I know you don't want to talk about it. No, it's not that I don't want to talk about it because I work hand in hand with public works. Okay. So okay. definitely, I support public works. I, I support anyone that need that retro paid. But this is not something that just happened. Yep. You guys have been not paying bills for over two years. Mm -hmm. It's been a fight for over two years. I'm a 33-year resident out here. I'm a stakeholder. So I, I'm looking and I'm watching. This is the second term as a trustee and working very diligent in doing things in this community. But but you guys have been voting no, no, no for the past two years. It's not going to get done in a month, two months. Now you hollering retro. I didn't hear retro a year ago. Mm -hmm. Public work has been Behind contract two, three years now. Four? Yep. Four so years. I'm, I'm, in support, I'm in support of public work. I'm in support of the police department and the fire department. I'm with that. So don't let's don't twist around like I'm against it. I'm not against it. But I was just talking about some things right now that we can put right back in the community and I applaud public Because each and every one of now why would you rather create more tree cutting programs and window and roof programs and snow removal programs then pay the employees who do the work that means somebody is skimming somebody is 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 taken out yes there are individual people taking home money they're not supposed to take home especially when we got vendors calling because they have not been paid for work that the board has approved and has signed checks for. Yes, somebody is taking money home. We see that now in March of 2024. 
But why Stan Brown, who's about the people, who works hand in hand with Public Works and Stacey Carell and probably knows what his dreadlocks smell like? Why would you be more eager for the mayor to be able to have more programs than for the people who do the work to get paid more? See, what they're talking about is an increase in pay. It's time for Public Works to renegotiate their salaries and get more money. At this point, you're talking about a 3.5% cost of living raise over the last four years. They're owed about a 15% raise just to bring them up to market. And see, the reason why Tiffany Henyard don't want to do that is because she's actually going to have to pay it. Payroll has to get paid. She can't hide that money in a program. You understand? Works by hanging in there with us, and I ask that you keep on hanging in there with us. Because we're working towards making it, making it better. Making it better. Because I'm out there, I see public works, they still working hard. They still working hard, doing a yeoman's job. But I'm not counting them out, not by a bit. But I'm talking about something right now that we can't do. I asked, did you have any lawn care people that you know that you want to put on there and pay them? Cindy, you don't want to pay the ones that's on there now? And I commend them in the business for steady working and not getting paid. And I do say this here, yes, I was one that voted to pay the bill. I voted to pay the bill. I didn't vote for individuals to say who they want to pay. I voted to pay the bills. And right now, this is way beyond me because uh, I didn't, <clears throat> I'm learning something now because I didn't know the, a trustee and the clerk handle the money like that. Mm -hmm. I thought that was up to the mayor <clears throat> and the- um, This is the chair of the finance committee who's now learning the order. He didn't- <laughs> Finance director. Mm -hmm along with the village administrator. Mm -hmm. So I'm learning something now that I never experienced. So that's my take on it. Because yeah, we got a lot of anger going on and personal that's going on, but let's take the face. As a trustee, he didn't even know about the checks and balances that were put in place to restrict the mayor's hand when it came to the bank account. He assumed because he is all in for Tiffany Hemyard. He does not plan on providing any checks and balances as a finance chair head, as a finance committee chair. He has no he assumed that she had all the power once the board approved the bills, that she had all the power. He assumed that. He's never even checked because he's okay with that. He don't give a fuck. He, if if what would have been the, the difference if he had known? That trustee house and the clerk, uh, clerk key, had the final say to when the checks were um, were signed. What would be different? He probably would fight harder against them. He wasn't aware of that. He thought that once the board approved it, it was all in the mayor's hand, and her and Tangini could go to Sephora. And with Brandon, Brandon, I'm gonna need you to start dressing the mayor a little bit better, honey. Like. If you were the one that dressed her for her uh, on the run, <laughs> on the move, <laughs> I said it right the first time, for her on the move podcast picture, honey, a white suit, some white shoes, and a gold belt is not what you need a stylist for. I'm just going to tell you. I know you think she think you're doing something for her because she said you got her dipped, but you need to get her dripped. Okay? Can you please elevate her fashion if she's spending money for a stylist elevate her fashion she give us something to remember her by and please stop putting her in bell bottoms and flare leg pants she don't have no body to support it it just makes her look like a stick um give her a little bit more of a tapered leg okay please and she don't need to be wearing white shoes the fuck what is wrong with you why wouldn't you put her in a gold shoe that day I really didn't want to say nothing, but I'm going to go ahead and say it now because I found out last night you can pay $7,000. You're on staff as her full-time stylist. You can do better. Ashley Stewart is not what anybody who sits in the seat of a mayor should be wearing. I don't know what she's... Maybe you skimming off the top, too. 
she's giving you a certain amount of money and you going and finding the cheapest thing. And I know her style isn't that elevated personally, so her expectations aren't that high. But there are those of us who dress ourselves better than you're dressing her. Say la. Talk the situation. Let's deal with them. Yeah, and then y'all should put one second. I'm gonna go to you, Trusty Brown. Um, K5, y'all should add them back in. I'm asking you guys to add them because that is the alley, the alley resurface program that we have been doing. Program, and people, program, alley's been getting program. done, even people that don't like me. Um, Valerie Stubbs, alley's just got paid. So I just want to point that out to y'all that hey, if it's the worst alley, we do it. We don't discriminate or pick and choose who gets done. That's why the engine. How unprofessional and too much like a black preacher is it for her to personally call out somebody who she just tried to kill a month earlier? Here's does it, and also um, Stacy from Public Works. So I'm asking that y'all put that back in because if Trustee House really telling y'all truth about finances, which obviously he know nothing about, he would tell you that it's different funds for everything that comes out of our bank accounts, and this is his own separate fund. This. But she sure hasn't refuted that statement he made about a deficit, has he? Oh, no, she called it a bill. And Tangenique called it an, an, an overdue expenditure, a backlog. Come from for $238,000. So I'm asking the board to uh, add it back in so that people can get their alleys done. And y'all just heard Ron, the engineer, say, state that they're starting up. So what are y'all going to do? Not pay them? And if they watch this, why would they come and do the work? They just said they just started today doing streets, alleys, and sidewalks. So if y'all keep holding their money, these are companies that went out for bid, Brittany. That went now, all of these companies have now gone on strike. As of right now, in this moment, all of these companies are in a construction strike. But that money was approved in the budget. So what? why is there still a deficit? For RP. Brittany, so I just want to point out that it do happen. Everybody got their facts wrong. When they get up here and speak, they be out of out of order with what they saying. They don't have no no facts. So all I'm asking is that you add K5. I wish I would add all the other vendors, but that comes from a separate account. And I wish people would tell y'all the things for y'all just get up get up here and start line item stuff out that you know don't even know where it come from. So go ahead, Trusty Brown. Okay. First of all. Yes, I did uh, uh, bounce from my friend to be paid nine thousand dollars. The check was cut, and it still hasn't been distributed. And that was in July. Okay. So yes, Wood is my friend. I have a couple of other friends. See, uh, that's what's about paying friends. Trying to tell y'all. Check is cut. See. Check is cut. And I'm mm -hmm. paid. Thanks for that. Making. And the microphone has been turned off for the record. Yeah. Work in this building. My friends have jobs already. Well, let's, let's get that fact straight. I don't have a friend in my field. I've met more when I moved out here. So again, check cut, not being paid. We have vendors that checks have been cut and no, have not been paid. Here's an email for a lease agreement. State Bank. This past the bill says uh, May of 2023. $76,000. So why we continue to make bills when we ain't paying? We got vendors that have not been Extra. paid. Sorry about that, y'all. I, I said it down and it, it changed the face. Sorry. Um, and, and have we gotten confirmation that that bill, that $76,000 check that Janice Johnson um, cut for the village of Dalton, even though she's an HR director and not a finance director. Um, have we gotten confirmation that that bill cleared? Yes, have been, yes, have been emailing us. Your checks have been cut. Why haven't I got my checks? Maybe these are coming here to pick up their checks and being told that they cannot receive their checks. So what is going on? Yes, I voted to pay the bills. So guess what? Pay the bills. Why are we holding business checks? Mm -hmm. Business checks are still here. We have 30 plus checks that I know of are still sitting on a desk. 30 plus sitting on a desk. 30. So if you're going to pay the bills, pay the bills. But stop making bills. Now they keep talking about these same eight checks for five star you know, she lucky they even willing to pay that because they don't know yet that most of that is for the ice skating rink. 
Okay. She snuck that on in through public works. I'm sure the feds figured that out by now. But she keep talking about these eight eight um payment arrangement checks from Five Star. She ain't said nothing about these other uh 30 checks that haven't been sent out. Additional bills every month. If I'm a vendor and you pay me in five months, why would I come back here and do additional work for you? And at this same time, all of these vendors are calling the, the, the village who they're being directed to, Janice Johnson for some reason, who's directing them to the department head. And then the conversation falls flat. The department head is dodging the vendor. Is the department head taking some money home? Because the invoice is in the department head's name. If you're not paying, you can't pay your workers. So you want to talk about messing with people's livelihood, you're doing that. Why would a person come back here and continue to do work and I haven't been paid? That's foolishness. That's crazy. Stop adding on additional bills. A couple of months ago, we had a $5 million warrant list. The month after that, a $2 million and some dollar warrant list. A warrant list. Here's a $3 million and some dollar warrant list. The pay the bills. Pay the bills. And stop having these people continue to do work and not being compensated. If the checks are signed, distribute. Do not hold checks here and don't give them to anybody. So as far as my friends working here, I wouldn't dare have my friends working here. Okay. Well, um, we agree on something. Pay the bills. So I hope you guys do pay the bills. Tell your friend, trust the house to sign the checks, and maybe vendors will get paid. But back to this K five for that. He's not signing eight checks for one million dollars. Okay. What about the other checks? What about the other vendors? Still no answer to that. Now, I need you guys to make sure you add that in here because they already did the alley. Um, we right now is about to start on the street resurfacing and I would like people streets to get paid and people alleys to get paid. So please, please, please um, add that into your amended um, motion. Uh, trustee, anybody want to amend the motion? Don't we have to vote on this before we can amend it again? Well, we can amend it. Uh, I would prefer to vote. Would y'all, anybody, any other trustee want to amend the motion to add the K-5 Audi's in there? Yeah, I would like to make that motion to add K-5 back in there. Second. All right. It's been amended. Y'all caught them dog whistles? Does anybody want to amend the motion <clears throat> to add K-5 back in there? Of course, Dan Brown said, yeah. I'm sure she got some secrets on him. We'll figure that out very soon. And then, of course, Andrew Holmes seconded it because he's a rapist. Allegedly. Please call around. Can I ask the attorney though, Was that proper? Because I'm confused on what we're voting on. Yeah. You took people out. He added the person back in. And now we're going to vote with K5 included. There was a motion in the second. So how was it amended when we were in discussion? Um, we're done with discussion. But there was a motion in the second. Okay. It's amended. Delgado. So the clear way to do it would be just to vote on the original motion and then present a second motion. But the amended motion, even if you accept it, it still would require a majority to amend it. But there was you see how that's her attorney, right? The motion in a second. We were in discussion. It was so long that we forgot that we was in discussion, but it was discussion. So how are we making an amendment in discussion? wants to, you certainly can entertain the amendment, and if there's four votes in favor of the amendment, then they would present a new motion, which then would require another roll call. Correct. Well, excuse me, honey. We're just making up stuff as we go along. So, okay, y'all want to vote on y'all motion, and then y'all want to um, vote on K5 Valley's next? You can do that. You can, you can, you can, you can, you can do that. On the table. I'm only asking because you all wanted y'all away, but see, I'm compromising. You, yeah, I you can do that. Right, go ahead. Vote on y'all motion. I mean, she don't want to follow the rules. Those are the rules. Clear for the record. This is the motion and second that was just up for debate right. and discussion mm -hmm. with the vendors removed as listed by trustee house. Correct. Correct. And then 
after, if assuming that passes, then Trustee Brown can make his motion to authorize the payment of K-5 or any other. That's correct. All right, call her. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Trustee Stan Brown. No. Trustee Tammy Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Holmes. No. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Motion passed. All right, is there a, another motion to pay the vendors that were removed from the warrant list? They did the work. Services, right? Is there a motion? There's a motion. I would like the motion to vote on those vendors that had not got paid. All right, is there a second? Second. All right, is there a motion and second? Cobra? No. Wait a minute. Dang, you didn't even say it yet. Uh, How y'all remember that? Three you said no, y'all didn't determine. You're making a one hour meeting, five hours. Exactly. But I'm arguing. Okay. Trustee Norwood. No. Trustee Stan Brown. Yes. Trustee Tammy Brown. No. Trustee House. No. Trustee Holmes. Yes. Trustee Belcher. No. Motion failed. All right. And for the record, guys, this is why trustees do not get on bank accounts. Illegally... So, Trustee Keys, I hope you got a good outfit. Well, well, Clerk Keys, I hope you got a good outfit. All right, moving on. Hey, Ed, you you understand what she's saying, right? She tell them that they gonna get arrested, and they gonna need to take a mug shot, and they gonna be in court because they're on the bank account where there's actually an ordinance that supports them removing the mayor from the bank account and adding a trustee along with the clerk. <clears throat> Excuse me. They presented the ordinance to the bank. They presented the ordinance to the judge. Uh, 25 and oh, that's a lie because they won this court case. As a matter of fact, it's still in court. Report. I make a motion that we adjourn this meeting. Bye. I'm doing my marriage report. If y'all gonna walk out of the meeting, I'm out of the meeting, period. So I'm doing my marriage report. So, um, there's a marriage report. There's a motion and a second uh, on the floor. Right Attorney oh, Delgado. Girl, bye. If if there's right a motion and a second on the floor. No, these are the rules. She made a motion to a, she made a motion to adjourn the meeting. That is a legal motion. Someone seconded it. You can't just ignore it. <laughs> okay. Delgado. So, marriage report. Here we go, guys. It's a couple of things that's been going on. There's a motion and, and a trustee. You're, you're out board. of line. You're out of line. Clark, can you call the roll? There's a motion and a second. Line. You're out of line, trustee. So, so marriage report. Know, Here we go. Um, and the clerk we have the a couple of things going on. And the clerk called the roll. Now, when people lose this much respect for you and you sit in the seat of a mayor, it's time to step down. It's time to bow out gracefully. This was September. She should have resigned after this meeting. When you get to the point where people are walking out of your meetings and adjourning to end the meeting right before your report, it's time for you to give up the fight and go find another municipality to abuse. But I'm going to let this vote play out because I'm enjoying this. Right now in the village of Dalton, I just want to point it out to you. There's a motion and a second. You out of order. I'm not. You There's out a motion order. and a second. You, you, you had order. your marriage report. Did y'all say y'all report? You were sitting here I talking. got my marriage report. We so, were sitting here listening okay, to you for okay. hours. You only do one meeting. You do nothing else. So okay. it's okay. There's a motion and right, a second. So moving so, on. You out of order, trustee. Clark, can you trustee, please call the roll? You're not the mayor. You're out of order. Clark, can you please call the roll? And if the attorney is going to sit here and let her continue on with these shenanigans. Trustee, you can leave. There's a motion and a second on the board. Trustee, you can leave. You want to know. You all right, yeah, so all the rules. Um, There's a, a motion and a second. going on here in the village of Dalton. I just want to make y'all aware of what's going on. Um, one thing that I'm proud to announce is that now our swimming pool here in the village of Dalton will be repaired. So residents, you can come out and swim for free. I, what I love about that is you all can right. come and do that on the village. Before that, we didn't have anything going on like that. And that's what y'all remember. Remember how they act right here? Y'all remember that when election time come up. But I'm going to give y'all my mayor's report. So I can tell y'all the positive things that goes on in our village. This is a, a joke, I swear. I um, Matt, the I'm looking for okay, someone to run to the Jeff Ice. Let me go back and see You only do mayor's report. I make a motion that we adjourn this meeting. Goodbye. Yeah. I'm doing my mayor's report. If y'all going to walk out of the meeting, y'all going to walk out of the meeting. Period. So I'm doing my mayor's report. Yeah, that's how my daddy would be when it would be time for him to wrap up his sermon. I'm, I'm preaching this sermon. I'm doing this. 
Y'all, I'm telling you, I didn't seen this kind of abuse before. And then he wondered why his church don't grow. So, um, there's a major report of motion, motion in the second uh, on the floor. Right Attorney right. Delgado. Girl, bye. If if there's a motion in the second on the floor. Yeah. Attorney Delgado. So, marriage report. Here we go, guys. It's a couple of things that's been going on. There's a motion and, and the trustee, trustee, you're on the board. out of line. You're mm -hmm. out of line. Clark, can you call the roll? There's Clark, a motion in the second. Roll. You're out of line, trustee. So, so marriage report. Know, Here we go. Right. Um, we have a couple things going on right now in the village of Dalton. I just want to point it out to you. Guys. There's a motion so and a thing, second. You out of order. I'm not. You There's a motion and a second. You, you, you had order. your marriage report. Did y'all say y'all report? You were sitting here. I got my marriage report. She spoke for, I think, what we counted out to be between 14 and 18 minutes all by herself during this meeting with no interruption. So, we were sitting here listening okay, to you for okay. hours. You only do one meeting. You do nothing else. So okay. it's okay. There's a motion and right, a second. So moving so, on. You out of order, trustee. Clark, can you trustee, please call the roll? roll? You're not the mayor. You're out of Clark, order. Clark, can you please call the roll? roll? And if the, the, right, if the so attorney is going to sit here and let her continue on with okay, these trustee, you can leave. Trustee, you can leave. There's you a motion and a second on the board. Trustee, you can leave. You want to know. All right, got all the rules. There's a motion and a second. What's going on here in the of Dalton. I just want to make y'all aware of what's going on. Uh, one thing that I'm proud to announce is that now our swimming pool here in the village of Dalton will be repaired. So residents, you can come out and swim for free. What I love about that is you All right. can come and do that on the village. Before that, we didn't have anything going on like that. And that's what y'all remember. Remember how they act right here? Y'all remember that when election time come up. But I'm going to give y'all my mayor's report. So I can tell y'all the positive things that goes on in our village. This is a, a joke, I swear. Um, Next, I'm looking for someone to run the just ice. She said, this is a joke, I swear. As if she has not been there the entire time of her joke-ass tenure as mayor. This is two years in. Two years and about four months since she became mayor only two years she's lost all their respect and i'm here for it drink so if anybody is interested please call us at 708-297-6859 again girl back 708-29 the rapist and the i don't know what yet sat there with her Seven six eight five nine, and that is just ice rink. Um, next, we're looking for contractors to fix the roofs for the seniors. So, if seniors are asking for their roof and windows to be fixed. Please, please call us at that same number seven zero eight two nine seven six eight five nine. We have a roof and window program, which we got grant money for for our seniors and veterans who we will start with first. Um, last week went really well. I just want people to know that you all signed up for home beautification awards and we will be giving them out this week if you are interested or know somebody that's looking to do so please go and the trustees ended that roof and window program because there was no end date to it just like most programs for black people there was no exit strategy from it there was no strategy whose windows how she had people putting her name in their window to advertise her and the cost became astronomical. So VODalton.org. Again, that website is VODalton.org. Next, we have our Digital Meter Water Project. Um, I know that Keith Freeman announced that. That will be coming up. And that is a $2 million grant that we went and we sought out. And we were having that for our resident. But we do have a balance. I think it's coming to almost, I don't know, numbers by heart. Do you know numbers yet? Okay, no, so we're working on the numbers, but I just know that we was awarded the $2 million. Um, you don't know the numbers. you the mayor. Start the digital meters for all the people that had issues with the uh, readings that was getting uh, estimated readings. So I just want to point that out to y'all that we still working despite what y'all see here. I'm going to keep working and staying positive so that you guys can get the things that you need and have been neglected without for so many years. Uh, I got the block project. But she's still not willing to give public works the raises they're due. Okay? The people who perform the work that she's touting herself to be the, the head of, she's not paying them their market rate. She's pocketing that money through the programs that she's starting. We have this going on, Light Up the Block Project. It is for residents to put a light in front of their um 
in front of that line. And that's the little light that you see sometimes and it's lit up. So we have that going on. And then we also have lights that goes from the block. So if you're interested in your block, it's too dark, which we're working on. One thing I love about cutting the trees on the west side of town is that they said that we're doing an awesome job and they still light up the block. I know they had did several streets already. Thank you, Demarcus. Uh, put light poles up. So those residents are really happy because at night, if you go there right now, you can literally look from 146 all the way to Sibley, vice versa. And we're doing that from Airbrook all the way to LaSalle right now. So I'm praying that the vendors do come out um, tomorrow because the boy did not pay the vendor that's cutting the trees over there on the west side of town. We still had wet work to do. Um, LaSalle, yeah, see, I, well, you, you see it with your own two eyes so you can go tell residents what happened. You still got LaSalle to do. They were scheduled to come out, so hopefully they do come out. And then also they was going to resurface our street over there. So hopefully all that still works. If the board don't pay them, I don't understand why they will uh, continue to do it. What else we got? We have tree trimming already. Right. That's that. We did the west side and we also did the south side over there behind Fairway. That's Maryland. So make sure you guys go. Now, mind you, at this point, this is a secret squirrel meeting. The meeting has adjourned. The quorum has left. This is officially, at this moment, an illegal meeting. Just to let you know. And we're not going to watch this all the way through. I'm going to shut this down in just a moment. Check that out. A lot of residents happy. And we are starting both of those areas with pouring concrete for um, sidewalks and also alleys and street resurfacing. That started today in certain areas. So tomorrow I will go out and do a video just to show the residents the things that we are actually doing despite all the mess. Um, next, I am also looking for a face painter, balloon artist, caterers, um, and a sweet caterer. Uh, that's that old school butter cookies and old school caramel cakes. I'm looking for all those things um, to happen here in the village of Dalton. So if you're... Don't you feel like Umar Johnson? Interested, let me know because we put together a whole package. So when people rent out our just ice um, rink or other things that I'm, I govern, you guys will have options. Uh, we are with by govern she means own okay if you change every time she uses the word govern to the word own you'll find out who she really is and what her true intentions are because to this date nobody has rented just ice rink and to this date no money has been brought in from the just ice rink by super mayor tiffany a henyard it hasn't happened. It has no revenue coming to the village, yet the village is paying for security there, for lights there, for electric there, for the concrete, for the epoxy, for all of these things. Okay? So when she says what she governs, she means what she owns. She has taken that land hostage. Send the schedules to all the residents as it relates to um, people, the vendors that did sign up to do the roof and window program. The problem we had last time was that we didn't have enough vendors to actually complete the roof and window program. And then the board did stop paying those vendors, so people did stop doing the works for the residents, as you can see. So, again, we're going to try again, and hopefully it works out this time to... Um, benefit you guys. Gospel Fest. We're having a Gospel Fest on September 23rd, which is a Saturday. It starts at 3 p.m. until 9 p.m. Um, Gospel Fest will be on Greenwood Falls. Those that came out um, this past Sunday, was Sunday, Sunday? Sunday, it was really, really awesome. Um, we had Gap Band out, and we also had T.L. Williams out. Um, tons of people came out. A lot of seniors and you came out. Uh, we had go-karts, bouncy houses, face painters, everything, and free food. It was a whole picnic that day. It was awesome. We're doing the same thing because, as you can see, I'm trying to heal our neighborhoods because right now, so much hatred, negativity in the community. And I know I go back and forth too, so it includes me. So everybody just need um, to find God somewhere in their life that don't have it. And we need to work together and then show a united. So she's having a gospel fest, and this is Jesus, why I have an issue with you. Because you allow people to use your name to abuse other people. And Hare Krishna, Buddha, Muhammad, well, Muhammad does too. But the other gods, they don't allow people to use their names to abuse people. This woman is literally saying she's having a gospel fest so everybody can be on the same gospel-like vibration and get along and let her continue to steal from the village. Front for you, residents. So I When we all know it's just campaign event. That's what it is. It's a campaign event. I do want to apologize for us coming out here and not showing a united front. Hopefully it will get better, but remember this. It always gets better in time. And you guys will have the option to vote 
uh, people out of office that you see here before you. Just don't forget of what people have done to you because it will be time to repay that favor of people walking out on you. Remember that when they at church, do I ask you to vote for them and keep up? Uh, all I can do is just show you the facts and show the proof. You can tell people so many facts as it relates to um, questions they have, but they don't believe that answer is no point of responding. Um, what else do I want to say? Food pantry. Anybody hungry, whether it's the village of Dalton or anywhere in one of the 17 cities, you guys can go and get free food from the food pantry at 15340 Page Street. It's in Harvey. Again, that's there's also a food pantry that's owned by Dr. Scott that she keeps trying to block from expanding. Why? You only gonna be in office for so long. Nobody else. I'm gonna speak with myself. And as you see, the two trustees that stayed behind, who respect your time for coming out, they did not walk out on you, residents. Trustee Stan Brown, Trustee Andrew Holmes, they always support every move. I guarantee you, after three hours and twenty minutes, nobody gives a fuck about her two videos. And I'm not about to put you through that. I'm gonna let you guys go because she is now applauding a rapist over actual trustees who do actual work to keep the village of Dalton from going bankrupt. On that note, that's all I got. Ain't got no 